Hello everyone, it's the 5th of July and I'm coming to you with today's newsletter. The first story that caught my attention comes from Chemical Engineering News and it's about a way, a new way of monitoring uh, the health of uh, our cats. Uh, chemists have now developed a, a new way of uh, monitoring uh, cat health using the materials that they put into the cat litter box. Uh, um, these can uh, change colors depending on whether the excre excretions of the cat uh, contain markers of uh, health, healthy stages or disease stages and thus can give us information about whether our cat is healthy or not. The second story that caught my interest today is a story from AC Applied Meta Interfaces about an amphiphilic uh, polymer that can actually assemble into a liquid crystalline phase below a certain temperature. Uh, while, and in this liquid crystalline phase, it can uh, uh, contain, uh, act as a carrier for various payloads, such as drugs. If it's placed into a, a uh, environment where the temperature is above a certain critical value, for example, inside of a body, then it turns from the liquid crystalline phase to an isotropic phase, which uh, leads to release of the uh, payload, such as the drug. Finally, uh, my attention was caught today by a story from uh, uh, Chemist Reviews about a, a new uh, asymmetric total synthesis of epalinylid uh, E, uh, which is a compound that uh, comes from the plant Eupatorium uh, linde Lainum, uh, and which has uh, been shown uh, to be active against uh, various types of lung cancers that are resistant to other chemotherapeutics. The new way of making this compound is more efficient and can be relatively easily scaled. Thank you for your attention and see you again next time.